Hello everyone, again welcome to this 30 day freelancing challenge for mechanical engineers. Guys, this is day 2 and in the day 1, I had already given you the task that you had to answer a simple question that what do you want to be a freelancer and post that answer with a certain hashtag onto your social media handles like LinkedIn, Instagram and any other social media that you frequently use. Now in the day 2, as you can see, we are into day two and the today's task is very simple. So as you can see onto my screen, the today task is to introduce yourself. Introduce yourself in the text format, not in video format, not in audio format, simple text format. You have to write an introduction for yourself. And there are certain limitations for that. There is certain limitations that you need to be there and there are certain format that you had to follow. And those limitations are like whenever you are preparing your introduction or writing your introduction, then you had to be within 2600 characters. So that is the limitation that is applied to this particular task that you had to follow. The next format and the format is very simple. You had to include this kind of format. For example, first write your name, then include your location where I mean the place where you belong to then include your current job profile so if you are not a full-time job working person if you are a student or fraser instead of current job profile what you can do you can write about your degree that you had you are a graduate and you had a mechanical degree then under the experience in the fourth year you can see you also need to include your experience so in in your experience you had to include how much ex total of experience you had so if you again if you are a student then instead of including the experience over here you can include your projects or whatever the projects major projects you worked so far and then the major skills what are all your major skills you also had to include that so by including all these things you had to prepare a great introduction for yourself amazing introduction for yourself so that is the task for the day two and here is the sample introduction as you can see i had prepared for myself it's very simple it's very easy to write as you can see i had included my name location then i had also included my current job profile what i do and then the total years of experience i have and also at the end i had included what are all the major skills i have so it's a very simple introduction i had prepared just to give you a sample just to give you an idea like how you had to write so you don't need to copy this exact thing that i had prepared you had to be unique right whenever you are writing an introduction you had to be very unique different from others so that is the main thing and so for that we'll be using a chat gpt and i will show you how you can write a very effective introduction that will be differentiate from other person and also it will be it will be very effective so if someone is reading your introduction uh, they will get a very good impression so let's move on to the, my screen onto the chat gpt tool and i will show you how you can start preparing your introduction in ai tool chat gpt so now as you can see we are into chat gpt tool right i had opened this web address that says chatgpt.com into my chrome browser and here you can see this is the screen i will get the next step is simply login into this platform i will click on this login and here you can see whenever i will click on the login it will ask me to provide my email address but since i already had an account i will click on continue with my google account but if you don't have an account you can simply simply click on this sign up account sign up button over here and then you can create your account right i will click on this continue with google since i already had the account then i will select my right email address and here you can see i will just i am just logged in into my account right it, it will take few seconds to log in and here it is so this is my chat gpt interface and as you can see i am logged in so here you will get a bottom here you will get a place where you can input your instructions but i'm not going to put instruction right now what i will do first i will train my chat gpt to work for myself and how you can do that for that just go on to the right top corner of your profile picture that you are seeing just click on that and then click on customize chat gpt right and guys i'm still on free version so you don't have to pay anything you don't have to subscribe anything simply go on to this platform log in and just come on to this profile icon and click on this customize chat gpt and here you can see the, there are two sections already you can see the first section is that what would you like chat gpt to know about you to provide better response so i had included most of the information about myself so 
whatever information you think is important for you and you are comfortable sharing online just include all those information over here including your name including your experience education and skills or the projects you had worked in the past or if you have any hobbies good hobbies bad hobbies everything just include into this uh, section here you can see i had written everything most of the things about myself like uh, which city i belong to when i started my career which companies i did work and everything so this is a one time thing that you will uh, write over here but it is going to benefit you a lot in the long run so just do it include all the information about yourself then move on to the, to, to the next section and in the next section as you can see it is asking me to like how you do like chat gpt to respond so what i did here i had simply written because chat gpt is just an ai tool right whatever uh, you will ask with him he will start providing the information it will start providing the information and those information will be mostly in the machine language right it's that will not be having any emotions but whenever we are preparing anything for us any information we want to include some emotions as well so that's why i had instructed the chat gpt like whenever i am asking something try to be respond in a casual way as you can see and also point specific without marking budge words so these are the things i had instructed chat gpt so whenever i am asking or doing any query just follow these things so this is a one time thing i did then i you have to click on the save icon over here and then you will be done now the moment you will come onto your screen after doing all those things and if i will write chat gpt that write write an introduction write an introduction for me what i will i am asking chat gpt is that write an introduction for me in less than 2600 letters see this is what i am asking with the chat gpt i i had not told him since i had already provided that information in while training my ai tool and i am not telling him what what is my name and all those things i am simply asking for the introduction and the moment i will press enter it will give all the information based on the data i had feeded him already right one time so here you can see it has prepared me this much long introduction about myself and that will be very accurate that will be very based on my personal experience based on my uh, profile based on my emotions so it has created this kind of introduction and then i can copy this introduction and use it anywhere onto my social media platforms into my bio into my resume wherever i want to so do this prepare an introduction and make sure that it's less than 2600 characters and once you are done with that simply copy this so what i will do i will simply copy all the introduction from over here here you can see i will make a right click and i will click on copy and the task for the today is once you had prepared the introduction you have to post this introduction into our community and now i will show you how you can post that into our community now to post that into our community you had to again go to your browser and open this website that says academy.3dias.com press enter then you had to log in right if you're new user you had to sign up but if you are already a registered user you had to log in so i will log in i will use my gmail account here you can see i will click on this continue with google and then i will select my account for which i had created an account and then i will be inside my academy community and from here i will go on to my dashboard here you can see and here i will be able to find at the bottom this community section so just click on this community section and there i will find the community so i will go on to this introduce yourself community as you can see over here i will simply come over here and will press enter sorry i will paste it whatever the introduction i had prepared here you can see this is my introduction and i will make sure that i'm including the hashtags that is hashtag mechanical engineer here you can see then the next hashtag is freelance and the third hashtag is three dash like this then i will click on this post icon and it will get posted here you can see so this is the task for the day two that you had to perform. You had to prepare an introduction for yourself and post it into our 
redast academic community so every one of us will be able to know each other like what we do what our what are all our major skills and this introduction that we had prepared in the day 2 we are going to use this introduction in the coming days whenever we will move forward with the challenge we are going to use this introduction in our social media platforms so that is why i had given this as a task it's very important so follow these things whatever the instruction i had given just follow it prepare an introduction post it on to our community so this is all about the day to guys so i hope all of you are very active and perform this task see you next day thank you